Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of RVP. Um, yeah, more must listen this week. Um, I have some more as well. Um, maybe my videos in the next few weeks will slow down. Um, I actually, my hours and my work have really been cut back, so money's a bit sparse. I have money saved, but you know, that's the way things are in this economy. Um, so yeah, guys, let's get on with the pickups for this week. Um, Paperboy, the classic Paperboy, guys. This is, I, these are Carrara Market pickups, most of them. This was Carrara Market pickup. Um, the guy, I did, I did say it was hard to find a bugger there. The guy is really, really good. No, I'm telling you now, if you're a regular customer there, he looks, he does look after you. Um, he basically, yeah, I get these for pretty much a good deal every time I go down there. I haven't been there in a couple of weeks due to funds and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, um, this is uh, Paperboy. Sorry about that little rant. Paperboy, it is complete a set. Classic title, guys. You guys obviously know if you're into video games, you know this what this game is all about. So that's Paperboy on the Sega Master System. Put that down there. Next up. Special Criminal Investigation, guys. Um, basically, uh, this was an arcade game. Basically, you're in a car and you could shoot. It's basically the sequel to Chase HQ. Um, it, it comes completely with all the manuals. A bit ripped somewhere on the back or somewhere I've seen. I'm not too fast. So, you guys, that is uh, Chase. Oh, not Chase HQ. Special Criminal Investigation on the Sega Master System. Pretty good driving game. One of the better ones on the Sega Master System, guys. This one. Now, this game is shit hard to find. I got this incomplete. Um, this game complete can be a fucking expensive, mate. I'll tell you what, I sent it as much as $60, and I'm like, why is this game so expensive? I have no reason to understand why this game is... Maybe it's just a wanted game, because it's not the greatest game of the world. I, I wanted to get this because it was one of the first games I bought on the Sega Master System, and... I got this for a, a really good price, twenty dollars or something. But complete, this game goes for fucking heaps, man. I don't know why. It's basically a karate game, guys. You go, it's a side scroller karate game. You just kick, and it's a pretty good game. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I don't know why this game goes for for the prices it does. So there, guys, that's Black Belt. I think I showed you the inside. It's incomplete on um, the Sega Master System. Another one, I got this on the Mega Drive through the uh, Retro My Retro Game Box. I'm actually going to cancel that subscription next month. Um, I just, one, I can't afford it at the moment, and two, I'm not getting the games I really thought I would. Um, I mean, four Game Gear games, I mean, yeah. But I got this on the Mega Drive last time for the My Retro Game Box. Um, this is for the Sega Master System one. I really love the cartridge. This comes with everything, basically. I, um,. This was, yeah, this was a little bit expensive, more than what I normally pay, but it's one of the games I really wanted on the Sega Master System. <clears throat> so you guys, that is uh, Micro Machines. I love the case, I love the cart, very colourful. Um, Codemasters, most of their games on the Sega Master System are really, really well thought out, and, and a lot different than the uh, normal Sega Master System stuff. So you guys, that is uh, Micro Machines on the Sega Master System. Next up, I had a bit of an issue with the seller with this one. I paid for this complete and he sent it incomplete. So I wasn't too impressed, especially I've spent a good probably thousand to two thousand dollars with this seller and I wasn't happy. Um, but yeah guys, that is Ghostbusters. This is game is supposed to be really good. I had this on the Amstrad back in the day and used to play it a lot. Um, so yeah guys, Ghostbusters, who you gotta call? Ray Parker Jr., that's who you gotta call. And last but not least, guys, Zillion. Uh, pretty good game, this one. A um, bit like Mission Impossible. Um, the actual uh, gun is based. The Sega Master System light phaser is actually based on the gun in this game. Um, and it comes complete as well. The instructions are pretty thick, so obviously multiple languages in there. Still have to get Zillion 2 um, complete. I've got the cartridge up there, but I would like it complete as well. So you guys, that is Zillion. 
on the Sega Mass System, a pretty good uh, platformer on the uh, on the old little system. And guys, um, I do have more Sega Mass System, but I'll make up a video. Other games noteworthy, I won't put a video up here um, that I got over the, the few weeks or whatever. Um, op Shop Pickups, Prince of Persia, not to be sold for retail. I do have Prince of Persia, I've got the box collection and some other one as well. Um, but yeah guys, that's that one. Family Guy on the PS2. I'm not a big fan of the series, I don't watch it that much and I haven't really watched many episodes, but I've heard the game is pretty funny and half decent, so I've got, I've got that one. And last but not least, I've been wanting to get this on the PlayStation 1 for ages because I used to have it <coughs> and I played it a lot. I, I don't think I got through it, but I got the X-Files. Not the greatest game in the world, a bit of a horror zombie type different uh, game, but it does feature the David Duchovny and um, I was going to say Julia Gillard. What the fuck's the name? Uh, can't think of a name. You know a name anyway, guys. It features the voices of the actual actors, so it's something a little bit different. It's a bit of an adventure type horror game. <coughs> um, PS Vita, I picked up Ease. Um, memories of Celsita, is it? Um, this is a really good game. Like The Vita games are coming down in price due to Sony not supporting it that much, so I was really glad to pick this up for like $20 from EB Games. <coughs> um, yeah, guys, this is a little bit different, like, it's a bit of an action JRPG. It's basically you go around, you fight monsters, and um, you got to map out the map. Well, I'm pretty lost at the moment. I'm pretty stuck. I really need to get a guide or something. But, yeah, guys, that is um, Ease on the um, Memories of Celsita on the uh, PS Vita. And last but not least, another noteworthy pickup. I did not even know this existed. Um, the Zone of Enders... Um, HD remaster on the 360. Um, if you're into anime and all those robot -y type things, this was out in the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, I think. Um, don't get me wrong, I had the PlayStation 1 version back in the day and I still wish I had it because it goes for a shitload of money now. Um, this is a, basically this is, yeah, it's hard to explain this. The disc is in the, the 360 at the moment. It comes with a demo, Metal Gear Rising as well, which I also have on the 360. But yeah, guys, I seen this and it was in EB Games half price deal and I picked it up for $17. I was pretty stoked. This is one of those games um, that will eventually, you know, be a little bit more wanted in the community. So yeah, guys, that's a bit of Hideo Kojima love um, on the Xbox 360 with Zona Enders HD Remaster Collection. And that's it, guys. That is all for this week. I will try and get a video up uh, in, next week with the, the other Sega Master System guy. As I said, I have my I have some cash, but um, my work hours have gone down, down. Come July, they might go up a little bit more due to I'm get, I'll be working nights in Surface Paradise. But yeah, guys, um, I'll try and get videos up as much as I can in the next few weeks. Um, if I don't, I've got a whole list of other videos you guys there can watch if you want to watch them. And yeah, guys, as, as usual, thank you for watching. Um, if, you, if you don't know what this is, this is um, CoinOps uh, R6, I think, version R6 for the Xbox, um, OG Xbox. It's basically an arcade emulator. It's not just arcade. You can put SNES games, any type of games on there. Um, I've only got the light version because my hard drive is only 80 gig and I've got other stuff on there as well. So yeah, guys, if you interested have a look on the internet um you have really have to ftp it i got the light version and basically burn a few dvds and um put it on my xbox and did it that way but yeah guys that's a really good emulator program i don't give a shit what anyone says if you can't afford it mate emulate shit man it's the best way to go it's the cheapest way to go and um yeah like you can i can do this and play it on the arcade stick just like being in an arcade really yeah, guys, as I said just before, thank you for watching. It's me just ranting on and on and on again. And um, I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.